Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. The last two barriers of Ganon's castle are going to be the blind portion, <laughs> basically. I did do the majority of the fire area, but the rest of it will be sort of blind, and that area I, I haven't unlocked yet, obviously. So let's go through here. Now, oh yeah, I gotta switch tunics. <laughs> so let's get that. Oh, you notice that uh, uh, before when you had 20 hearts, if you came in here early, uh, that would have been at 2 minutes. But now that I got the double health thing, it's 240. Well, actually, that doesn't even make sense that I have double health. This one, this one right here is really, really awkward silver rupee to get. Okay, L target, backflip. <laughs> It's a puzzle just to get that one rupee. And up to that Bemo statue over there, base, I mean that Bemo thingy, uh, is about as far as I got in this room. So yeah. <laughs> uh, maybe I should, no, I don't want to get my hover boots out just yet. These, these first jumps I found to be a bit easier without, because it's just like traditional platforming then, rather than walking onto the air for each of these platforms. But man, this, this rupee right up here is just so awkward to get. It's like you have to wait for it to go back down. Backflip. There we go. Um, now I have to wait for the timing of that uh, sideways moving lava platform to offset with this one at just the right point so I can walk across it. This could take a while. By the way, all the other ones sink into the ground. Or I should say sink into the lava. So that's why I'm being a little bit cautious here as to only be picking a few platforms. Mm, I just never get why sometimes it stuns them while other times it blows them up properly. I will never ever get that. <laughs> Maybe they have a very, very specific sweet spot. Oh boy, that was... A close one. Oh, that's power. <laughs> Nintendo power, okay. <laughs> um, now, from here, I'm not sure what I want to do. <laughs> uh, I think, because I don't trust those platforms, I'm going to long shot. I'm going to aim to get over to that pillar over there first, because that will create a platform for other things. I noticed that one didn't create anything special, so yeah, going to carefully aim, ooh, this is going to be tricky to do on this moving platform. Yeah! Yeah, baby! <laughs> now, there's one I noticed that was blatantly above the lava. So, there's no possible way that you can get that other than moving that pillar over there. So that, that was a pretty obvious solution that I could tell even from a distance. Um, is there any... Let's, like, let's see if there's any of those platforms move upwards. Because you know those platforms, you can't tell what they do until you walk on top of them. You can sometimes get like an indication of what they do by looking above them. Like, seeing if there's any sort of pathway of sorts. Uh, that slugma's gonna get in the way, isn't it? Uh, yeah, you are. <laughs> if I try to jump across there and I grab onto the ledge, it'll just knock me back off, so I'm not gonna take any chances. Especially given how long this room takes! Holy poopers! I almost killed myself there. Well, not killed myself, that would've just reset the room. E. Yeah, it should be L-targeting. Alright, let's see what this does. I'm guessing this is going to make a platform underneath that rupee. I'm almost positive it's going to make a platform. Booyah! Alright, so how do I get on top of that thing now? That is the question. Um, what's the best way to go about doing this anyway? Like, how do I get back from here? <laughs> if I were to... Does this one fall into the lava? No, it shoots me upward. Okay, good to know. I was getting ready to jump back over to that side. That's why I got my things out. Yeah, that works. 
All right. I don't think I can just like. Mmm. I don't know which one I want to choose. I don't know. I'll try this one. Please do not fall. Oh, okay. I I wonder if they all go up in the air. I'm not about to try it though. Like I'm not about to do a test run since I'm so far into this room. <gasps> no! I didn't go far enough. <sighs> Let's try it again, I guess. No other choice. Well, how'd that work? <laughs> that worked out great! Or not. Alright, there we go. This room should probably be titled, like, The Room of Patience or something like that, because this room takes forever to do, and everything is so precisely done, per se. Okay, oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Oh my god, oh my god, stuff like that. <laughs> You get the idea. All right, now I know that one goes up, and they're both equal in length from from the pillar, and I have to reset the room from the beginning. Wow, this one is really getting on my nerves. Just like the fire temple, actually. The fire temple just oh. Mm. Ugh. The fire temple was, like, it was full of patience rooms like this, or really, really cryptic rooms. So maybe that's why I'm having such a uh, not fun time in this place. But it's gotta be done, I suppose. This room is genuinely difficult, so that doesn't help its cause either. <laughs> so... I just gotta make do with it and make the jumps as perfect as they have to be. Well, I guess it isn't. Th it doesn't have to be that perfect, but it is perfection to a point because of the fact that a lot of these jumps <clears throat> you are using your silver gaunt <laughs> silver gaunt so using your hover boots to get across them. So it's all a matter of timing, and if the timing isn't on your side, it's. Is gonna screw you over. <laughs> like with this one here, I have to start walking off the edge before it gets to this side because if I don't, then the hover boots, because I have them on, will prevent me from uh, landing onto the platform properly. And this one I have to get while I'm moving. <laughs> and this one's okay. <laughs> it's just on the way back when I have to land onto that platform. That it becomes a slight problem. And those slugmas over there, their position depends on luck. Like if you can get across there easily, otherwise you're gonna have to shoot them with your arrows. Like on that other run that I had, I was just able to jump across there without killing any of these off, but now they're kind of in the way. <laughs> uh, so it's all it's all stuff you gotta adapt to, and that's pretty annoying in this room, as I said, considering how the jumps are. I just wonder if I can, like, get to that pillar with a normal jump from a lower spot, because I really, really don't want to jump from such a high spot. It's just so uncomfortable to do so. Like, when you're jumping from a, a place that's fairly level, with the, the other place that you're aiming for, it's easy to judge a distance, but when you're way up high, it's... without your shadow, it's... I mean, if you can't see your shadow, it's really hard to tell where you're gonna land. Anyway, I just have to get over to here. Alright, so... Can I make that? I just... I don't feel I can make that. <laughs> At least not without the hover boots. And how far away am I away from that pillar anyway? Like if I were to go corner to corner, not that far away. So this is definitely makeable. I just can't come up short on it. I think that's what happened the first time was I held back a little bit. Yeah! Ah! 
Oh, thank you, long shot targets. Oh, I am happy this room is done. Please don't be more. Good. <laughs> that is great. Now there's only one room left. Well, one barrier room left. And then the uh, middle area leading up to Ganon. So let's get our light arrows. Cut right through the bubble. Boop. Oh god, no huggles. Please, no huggles. Anything but that. No. No. No touching. And we're back outside. I think what I'm going to do is the last barrier in this part because, well, why not? Two barriers per part sounds pretty good to me. <laughs> so, here we go. Lift up. Where does this one get thrown to? I completely forgot. Oh, he just breaks it apart. <laughs> that is awesome. The gold gauntlets are not to be messed with. The light barrier. Here we go. Dinlofos, Slugma, I'm taking off my boots. <laughs> there we go. I'm taking care of you first, because you're going to get in my way otherwise. You're just like the ground barrier that prevents me from defeating the Dinlofos a normal way. <laughs> yeah. Nope, nope, I'm not, I don't think so. No, nope. ain't going to happen. Oh, didn't think that other one would come so close to me so quickly. Ah, oh, whatever. It must have seen me. You, come back here, you coward, and die like a man! Or whatever gender slugs are. <laughs> I thought they were, like, both genders or something like that. Could be wrong, though. Wait, which door was it? Ah, so these are what those keys are used for. I'm a little suspicious about some of these places, because I haven't been using... Triforce, please. I haven't been using the Lens of Truth to examine things too closely. Like, you know how in dungeons that have a map and compass, you can tell that there's a chest in a particular room? Well, this dungeon doesn't have that. <laughs> so I'm just sort of going by hope that I get everything. Uh, if not, I'll definitely, you know, help you, help guide you through this place. Oh, this one. This one. Yeah, I remember this one. <laughs> and I'm not pleased to see this one, especially with those. This, were, this room was annoying enough without those... Okay, how do I get across there? You're not going to let me get through there. <laughs> no, you're not. Sneaky, sneaky. I could just use bomb chews, I suppose, to get rid of it. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. It's not really... If not, I'll just resort back to the bombs, but like, as before. Just aim it as straight as possible. Oh boy, it's not gonna work out well, is it? Let's get a little closer. Let's see if I can, like, get the angle. This is similar to what I did at the Spirit Temple, was just using one flat wall. Did I get it? Yeah, I got it. But what was that desired? <laughs> I'm sure it was, because I think it was going to... Oh, hookshot target. Well, it's a long shot target now, but still a hookshot target. So that's how you get up there, and away from those firewalls. So what is that? Is that all that's in this room, really? Well, besides that boulder and the firewalls... Nothing special about this room other than... Hmm. Really? I'm just going to take one more high look from the high ground here. Just want to make sure. Yeah, I don't see anything of interest. Okay! <laughs> I guess that's what those two keys were used for. The light barrier, everyone! <laughs> oh, wait, actually, there's no thingy in here. There's a Skulltula. You're trying to you're trying to imitate a gold Skulltula, aren't you? You can't do that. I don't think so. Only gold Skulltulas are gold Skulltulas. I bet you I can go through... Hey? No? Really? What am I missing? Oh, so there's a puzzle. There be a puzzle afoot. 
Because I remember in the original, you could just walk through that wall. That's how I tried it. Not here, though. There's some blockage. Mm hmm. What's in these things? So, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> and this should... Yep, it opens it. Light barrier went ridiculously fast, I have to say, because right behind here... Yep, it's not... <laughs> it's the thing. Wait, actually, I should... Check out the Z-Pots. Before I go any further, just because I can. Ah, that was worth it. There goes the last barrier. Woo! The light barrier is dispelled. Hurry! Well, you could transport me out of here. That would be pretty nice. Thank you! <laughs> I have to say, the sages have helped me travel far more than that dang Kapora Gabora ever has. And you know, he's capable of doing that. There goes the barrier. Hot dog! <laughs> and... I'm going to be doing that in the next part. I hope you enjoyed this part, and I will see you then.